The natural beauty and cultural variety of Vietnam are astoundingly diverse. Even the most slothful can see nature up close on a cruise to Ha Long Bay, Vietnam's most famous natural tourism site. Outdoor enthusiasts can get their teeth into the countryside within the various national parks, where hiking, biking, and kayaking are popular activities. This intriguing nation is one of Southeast Asia's most undervalued travel destinations and is full of surprises. Our list of the top Vietnam tourist destinations might help you organize your sightseeing. Ho Chi Minh City For those who enjoy big cities, no trip to Vietnam would be complete without stopping at Ho Chi Minh City, the bustling economic center of the nation. The majority of the city's attractions are concentrated in Dong Khoi, the district's central area, which is compact and simple to navigate. The impressive Notre Dame Cathedral, constructed in the late 19th century, can be found here, along with the HCMC Museum, which houses an excellent collection of objects that tell the history of the city. After that, history buffs should visit the History Museum to see the abundance of artifacts on show from different archaeological sites. Phong Naku Bang National Park One of Vietnam's top caving destinations is a World Heritage-listed site. A stunning karst mountain formation known as Phong Naku Bang National Park is peppered with enormous tunnels that are the perfect setting for amazing stalactite and stalagmite displays. The Paradise Cave, which stretches an astounding 31 kilometers below ground, is the park's most visited location. The second most well-liked excursion is to the Phong Na Caves, where a boat is used to explore the interior. From Sun Trek, you can travel to Phong Naku Bang National Park. Hoi An Hoi An, a charming city in Vietnam, has the greatest preserved traditional architecture overall. When Hoi An was a significant meeting place for Japanese and Chinese merchants who came for the local silks in the 15th century, the old town area was a delight to visit since it was crammed full of well-preserved merchant buildings. Although the town is full of little pagodas and museums, the best way to experience Hoi An's appeal is to stroll through the narrow streets of the old quarter and take in its beautifully preserved facades. Hanoi. The frantic capital of Vietnam is both a confusing and alluring site for visitors. It is the beating heart of the country. The old town area offers lots of decaying charm, and history buffs should come here just to visit the many top-notch museums. The Ho Chi Minh Mausoleum is a significant memorial to the man who founded modern-day Vietnam, while the Vietnam Museum of Ethnology and the Vietnam Fine Art Museum are all excellent introductions to the country's varied artistic output. Siu Chi Tunnels The Siu Chi Tunnels are a vast tunnel network that during the war, stretched for more than 250 kilometers, allowing VC troops to operate and communicate in the area surrounding Ho Chi Minh City. It is an absolutely fascinating experience for all tourists, not just those interested in Vietnam's modern military history. A guide can take you into two brief areas of the network's confined spaces, which are obviously not suitable for people who are claustrophobic. Mekong Delta The enormous Mekong River finally reaches the sea in the deep south of Vietnam through a network of channels that crisscross the floodplain. The Delta is one of the most fascinating places for tourists to explore. It is incredibly green, full of mangroves and paddy field vistas, and full of local life. It also has chaotic floating marketplaces that may be explored by boat. Kano is the most well-liked place to start out from because it's close to the floating markets of Phong Dai In and Kai Rang, and boat rides from Ca Mao let you visit the Ko Mao Nature Reserve and Yumin Mangrove Forest. Ha Jong The emerald green karst mountain vistas along the mountain passes in Ha Jong make it the ideal destination for picturesque road trips by automobile or motorcycle. Particularly, the winding Quan Bok Pass between Ha Jong Town and Tam Son offers expansive views of the Karst Plateau and its jutting limestone outcrops, while the zigzagging Mai Pai Lang Pass between Dong Van and Mio Vac provides breathtaking views of the lush mountain scenery and narrow valleys below. Khan Dao Islands Divers consider this isolated island group, which is located in the South China Sea 160 kilometers offshore, to be among the best locations in the nation to travel because of the variety of marine life and coral reefs. Turtles still lay their eggs on the island coasts, while the interiors of the Khan Dao Islands are still covered in lush forest. 
A large portion of the Kandao Islands and the surrounding ocean is a protected wilderness area. Halong Bay Halong Bay's Karst Seascape is one of the top sites in the world to visit for breathtaking sea views and is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This harbor in the Gulf of Tonkin contains thousands of limestone islets that have been worn over millennia by wind and water into sharp pinnacles. The Hang Sun Sat, which has three enormous caverns, and the Hang Dao Go, which has incredibly bizarre stalactites and stalagmites, are only two of the many caves in the bay that may be accessed. However, for the majority of travelers, the pleasure is simply driving through the karsts and taking in the ever-changing view of the pinnacles as you go. Hue Hue, one of Vietnam's most ancient cities, is stuffed to the gills with artifacts from the time of the Nguyen emperors in the 19th century. The imperial enclosure is a vast area enclosed by walls that extend for 2.5 kilometers, sitting along the banks of the lovely Perfume River. Outside the walls of the imperial enclosure are a bewildering array of historical sites. Taking a riverboat tour on the Perfume River is one of the greatest ways to see a number of distant locations. You can visit numerous royal tombs and a few pagodas on a day sail. My Son My Son is a 4th century ruin of a Cham era temple city, surrounded by mountains covered in beautiful vegetation. From the 7th through the 10th centuries, this ancient Hindu temple was still actively being used, it was only in the 13th century that it completely declined and was abandoned. Approximately 20 temple buildings still exist here, they are all made of brick or sandstone blocks and interestingly display influences from many Asian dynasties, including Indian and Malay. Notably, Krupa formerly had the most significant structure at the site, but US soldiers purposefully demolished it during the Vietnam War, leaving Group B with the oldest temples. Sapa Countryside Vietnam's most picturesque rural scenes can be found in the verdant rice field region of Sapa, which is bounded by the Hong Lien Mountains, sometimes still referred to by their French colonial era moniker, the Tonkinese Alps. The Hmong, Gia, and Red Zao are just a few of the ethnic minorities who call these deep valleys home. Fansipan Mountain, the nation's tallest peak, watches over the rippling hills, which are terraced with rice fields. With countless opportunities to trek or day hike between tiny towns and take in the breathtaking mountain views, this is the best trekking location in all of Vietnam. Na Trang Na Trang reigns supreme in Vietnam for beach enjoyment. The 6-kilometer-long, immaculate beach stretches along the waterfront of the city of Na Trang, where local families on vacation and foreign tourists alike congregate in the summer. Excellent swimming conditions, dedicated swimming areas, and well-kept relaxation spaces make this a terrific choice for leisurely days in the sun and sand. The historic Panagar Cham Towers, which have been used as a place of worship here since at least the 7th century, are immediately to the north over the XOM Bong Bridge if you do get tired of sunbathing. Bobby National Park the three interconnected Bobby Lakes at the center of the serene Bobby National Park, which is surrounded by craggy karst hills and heavily forested slopes, are absolutely gorgeous. However, for those who prefer to be more active, there is also fantastic hiking and trekking in the hills here amongst ethnic minority communities. Most visitors come here to take tranquil boat tours or kayak on the lake and explore the stalactite and stalagmite-filled caverns nearby. One of Vietnam's most serene locations, visitors who spent the night here do so in a traditional stilt house homestay along the lake's edge, giving them a taste of rustic country living. Cat Ba Island Cat Ba Island is a significant hub for activities and adventure tourism in Vietnam and is located on the western side of Halong Bay. This is the ideal location to go if you want to arrange kayaking and cruises in Lan Ha Bay, which is located off the southern coast of Cat Ba. A less crowded alternative to Halong Bay, Lan Ha Bay is a landscape of karst islets and outcrops. Off the coast, Cat Ba's deep interior jungle makes up a large portion of Cat Ba National Park, where hikers can see a variety of birds as well as other species like macaques. Phu Quoc Island Phu Quoc is a heavily forested island 45 kilometers off the southern coast of the nation in the Gulf of Thailand. During the winter dry season, it draws a lot of sunbathers to its expanses of white sand beach. 
The Inoi Islands, located south of Fuquak, are the destination of many popular boat excursions since they offer the best snorkeling in the region. Regular ferries and planes connect the mainland towns of Ratchjia and Hatien with Fuquak. Hatien is a well-liked first, or last, stop for overlanders entering Vietnam because it is so near to the southern border crossing with Cambodia. Mui Na Mui Na, formerly a small coastal fishing community, has grown into a stunning beach resort community and a well-known spot for windsurfing, sailing, and kitesurfing. The natural red sand dunes immediately outside of town, where visitors can try sand sledding or rent dune buggies for a more exhilarating experience, are one of Mui Nia's most distinctive attractions. The ferry stream is a slow-moving, warm stream that almost feels like a promenade since it is so shallow, follow it to the finish to reach a waterfall. It is tucked away between surrounding fishing communities and towering orange limestone structures.